I'm Jocelyn Mementa with bariatric surgeon Dr. Nicholas Dugan with Hartford Healthcare St. Vincent's Medical Center. We hear a lot about medical weight loss. How do you define that and who's a candidate, Dr. Dugan? So medical weight loss can be broken down into two categories, surgical and non-surgical. Um, as far as non-surgical, anybody's a candidate really who's just interested in losing weight. There's no threshold for, for meeting it as long as you're overweight. Obviously, we're not going to put people who are normal weight in it. Um, and when then, we're talking about non-surgical, what are you referring? I'm referring to uh, prescription medications, dietary modifications, um, exercise programs, and sometimes um, psychological modifications and, and assistance. And um, then there are the surgical weight loss. Yeah, surgical weight loss, two most common uh, procedures in the United States and the two that we do most frequently here is mm -hmm. the sleeve gastrectomy and the gastric bypass. And to be a candidate for that, you have to have a, a body mass index greater than 35 uh, with the comorbidity or 40 or higher with that one. What's the typical outcome of the surgical weight loss procedure? Uh, with surgical weight loss, we typically see between 50 and 70 percent excess body weight loss um, long term. And at 10 years, we see about 64% uh, excess body weight loss on average. What are the benefits of really shedding those pounds? So as we know, obesity is a risk factor for a lot of conditions, including cancer. Um, one of the big things that we see is, is resolution in diabetes, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, uh, high cholesterol, and, and joint pain. A lot of patients have bad knees, and they can even avoid a knee replacement or push it off several years after having lost weight. A common question from patients? Uh, they ask me if they have to quit smoking before surgery, and the answer is yes. It's a risk factor, and we like to avoid it. Thank you very much. For more information, log on to the website on your screen.